The variables, also known as alpha memory, are named after these 26 letters of the alphabet, plus this lowercase r and theta. To access these variables, you first need to press the alpha key. I do want to point out that the variables x, t, and theta are used quite a bit in this calculator. So there's actually a special button that can be used to access these variables very quickly. And it's located right here. The nice thing about this button is that you don't need to press alpha first, just the x theta t button. For simplicity, when I need to refer to this button, I will just call it x or theta or simply t. It automatically changes to the variable you need depending on the context of how it's being used in the calculator. And now let's see what these variables look like on the calculator. First, let's see what it looks like to have a variable on the calculator. For example, if I want the variable w and see what its value looks like, I would do the following. Press alpha and then the number three because there's a little w just above it. There it is. Press execute. Notice it has a value of zero because I have not assigned a value to it. If I want to take a look at the value of variable x, I could press alpha and then the plus key because there's an x just above it. But it's much faster to just press, without even pressing the alpha key, the x theta t key. There is my x. And then execute. Its value is also zero because I have not given it a value. This is the button you need to use to store or assign a value to a variable. Let me show you how it's used. First, you would input a numerical value, then press store, then alpha, then select the variable you want to use to store this numerical value, and finally execute. An alternative is to do the following. Input your numerical value, store, then press the x theta t button, and of course, execute. First, let's store the value of 5 into variable a. Press 5, then store alpha, and then the x theta t key because there's a small red a just above it. Double check your display. Yep, looks good. So press execute. Notice the calculator displays the current value of variable a. Next, let's store negative three into variable b. Press the negation key for negative and three, store alpha, and then the log key for the variable b. Execute. Again, the calculator displays the current value of negative three. Next, nine, Point one store alpha and then the natural law key for the variable C. Execute. And finally, let's store two sevenths into variable X. Two, press the fraction key, and then seven. Get out of the fraction. That's very important to remember that store. Now I could press alpha and then the plus key 
for the x, but it's much faster to just press the x theta t button. There's my x. And finally, execute. To delete a value stored in a variable, all you need to do is store zero in that variable. This would replace its previous value with zero. To delete the value of 2 sevenths, from the variable x, all you need to do is replace the 2 7th with the value of 0. So let's do that. Press 0, then store x and execute. It now has been deleted. Its value is 0. If you want to clear the values of multiple variables all at once, you can do the following. First, press Menu, then use the arrow keys to highlight the Memory Manager icon. Press Execute. Now access the main memory area by typing F1. We want to select alpha memory, so type F1 again. Notice there is now a small arrow next to the word alpha. Press F6 to delete all alpha memory. To confirm we want to delete all the selected data, select F1 again. Finally, let's return to the Run Matrix area by typing Menu 1. If you wish, you can double check to see that the values have been deleted. Press Alpha A, Execute, Alpha B, Execute, Alpha C. Execute. Yes, as you can see, all the variable values are now zero. Input the value, 42, store, alpha, D, execute. Let's add 83 to this value. 83 plus alpha, D. And let's go ahead and store this sum into variable E. Press the Store button, then Alpha E. Execute. The result is 125. Let's check to see that this value is in fact stored into variable E. Press Alpha E. Execute. It's there. For this next example, I want to let x equals negative 2 ninths. Then evaluate the following expression. 
One way of doing this on a calculator is to type in the following. Now that's quite a bit to type in. So one way to make things easier is to assign negative 2 ninths to the variable x. And then just type in the following expression. Let's see how this is done on a calculator. Input the value, negative 2 fraction 9. Get out of the fraction by pressing the right arrow key. Then store into the x variable. Execute. Now just type in the polynomial. 2 x power 3. Get out of the exponent by pressing the right arrow key, then continue. Minus 5x squared minus x plus 4. Execute. There's our result.